Hey everyone, we're here with Debussy, la fille aux cheveux de lin, the girl with the flaxen hair, and we're gonna have a look at this short piece that's just so beautiful, okay? With our Debussy. So. things in this piece is, and in Debussy in general, is we create resonance and then we play on top of it. Much like if you're a painter, the way you would paint a background and then paint on top of it. So we're going to look at that and we're going to look at fingerings and especially pedal as well. So pedal, fingerings, and sound, the kind of sound that we need to play this. So, starting out, one, two, and three. Sans rigueur means without any strictness, no strictness in, in the rhythm. So it shouldn't be one, two, and three, and one, and two. Right, one, two, So you can lengthen the first note. And I like to take a little more time in the beginning and then move on. Now here, find a fingering that gives you one gesture to play those two chords. So probably, let's take the left hand. Either Two one five one or three one five two is also good. And probably down and up. See what's important is that you have the gesture that connects the two chords into one gesture, so it feels like one thing. Bottom and not. But so the gesture does that. In this case. Where it's a down up. down up. And then here in the right hand, five, five, four, three, five, five, four, three. You can do that because you have the pedal. But don't do this. Don't, don't make the fingers independent from the arm. Walk the fingers like this. So once you get here, it doesn't matter what we do. You have the pedal on anyway. So come back with the thumb on E flat so that you can do, or the two. It doesn't matter. Two, three. I think the thumb is better actually. Two, three, four. These have to be connected again in the same gesture. You when you play the fifth in the left hand. But make sure you leave the pedal after so that you don't have something like this that we're missing, the bass. So make sure the bass is part of the chord. So one last time. So one, two, cut the 
the pedal on this note. So there's a lonely note there. He's the only one by himself. Yeah. Now there's a line on that note. So typically, a lot of times when we have a line over the note, for some composers, we lengthen the note. Okay, Debussy is using it more, probably since it's already a long note, we can lengthen it. But Debussy uses the line, the dot, the stroke, or the little carrot, the accent, and all these things as different kinds of sound. So, you know, last 
note in the bar, preceding bar on the right hand. That's doable. If you don't want to do it, you can always go play it a little bit in between. That's okay, that's fine too. Same thing, five, four, three, walk the hands. Here I would do five. So once again, not necessary to do 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, it won't work unless you have enormous hands. So do 5, and then take the 5 again. 5, 4, 3. Same thing. 5, 4, 3. This is if you have big hands, you can probably do the 3, three 1. You have to do five, four, three, and then you come back with five. That's for smaller hands. Four, three, five, that's for the small hands. All right. Now, we haven't talked about shape very much up until now, so let's just have a review of this part since we're about halfway through. shape it towards the middle that works one, two, three. a little bit more soft, much more sometimes than playing loud. It takes more effort to play soft. Mm. Now, you, I suppose you could go do a little slight crescendo into here. Well, you could also do the opposite. To do a diminuendo with that F flat in the left hand. phrase has a high point and finishes on a more relaxed sound. So in this case, we're going, that's why I like this, if you go down to get here, then you can crescendo all the way to here, and then relax it to Make sure you have enough, and not to do could work. Even writes the new end It's nicer because it's the ending of the phrase or sentence. Let's see. Now here you've made your resonance. crescendoing to a piano. Crescendo to do a little more here, but it's very slight. 
per anime, so a little bit animated, so this part could be a little faster. something like you know three one four maybe five three that's what I did in the different game. something like that you know you put fingerings to make it as legato as you can so here you last last CD by the way CD means to slow down so whenever you see that in Debussy you slow then au mouvement that means you come back to the preceding tempo. It's the same thing as rallentando a tempo. It's the same thing. And now here. Nice pedal on this chord. Because again, that's our background. We're going to paint on top of it. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All of this is in the same pedal. So 
So we keep this. This stays all in one pedal. Instead of going, that sounds a little, you know, a little rackety. So what you could do is, on the E flat, here in the right hand, you play the fifth in the left hand. So it goes like this. with one four. Four two one here is great because you could do something like this in the right hand. Five four three switch to three four five and then four. It's more legato. Or five five four switch to four four five four also good. Here's another of these places we've had this so many times in this piece where the pedal is connecting a legato in the right hand and you can do four or five and just jump, split it in your hand and come back with another fingering. So in other words, whether you have four or five here, you're going to play a five on the C flat, which is like a B natural. six like that, it should go very well. Now here you have a choice. Either you do this all with the left hand, in which case you'll go more like this.
that's it for this beautiful Debussy prelude. Lots of work to do with the sound and you have to listen, 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 listen very carefully to what you're doing. Listening to recordings are very good ideas because they give you a model of how the sound could sound, which you might not have, so that's useful. And then you're always refining, 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 refining. If this sounds like this, then you try to get... You're always refining. The other thing you're doing is... You're adding things, you're creating a harmony by doing this. So there's a lot of work like that to do in this piece. And speaking of peace, peace out, happy practicing. Uh, let me know what pieces you would like to work on. Uh, I appreciate that. It gives me a little idea of what videos to make next. We'll definitely have a Chopin sixth prelude live video coming up very soon. And uh, that's it. So if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out. See you next time. Thank you for watching.